Did you know that according to Jesus, the problem with life is not lack of revelation or lack of knowledge. However, it is lack of application. Welcome to newdawnministries.tv and tonight we'll be talking about the parables of Jesus. Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 it reads as follows Therefore everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who builds his house on a rock hallelujah so the problem with life according to Jesus is not that people lack knowledge or revelation however people lack the discipline to apply what they have learned. And Jesus puts it quite plainly. He says, those who listens to my words and actually practice them, they are like a wise man. In other words, when you practice what you have heard, you are demonstrating wisdom. Wisdom, according to the Bible, is not the knowledge of scripture. Wisdom, according to the word of God, is, is an application of scripture. So when you apply the word of God in your life, you are demonstrating your wisdom. In fact, in the book of Proverbs, it says that um, wisdom is the fear of the Lord. And to depart from evil, it is an understanding. So meaning to, that when you apply the word of God, you are demonstrating wisdom. You are demonstrating insight. You are demonstrating that you fear the one you listen to. Hallelujah. And Jesus says, if you do what you've heard from the scriptures, you're like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. In other words, your truth that you've accumulated, it is an anchored on a person of Christ, which is the rock. So when you listen to the truth and you apply the truth, you are building or you are anchoring your faith literally on a person and that person is the rock which is Jesus. Amen. Let's jump to verse 26. It says, But anyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice, he is like a foolish man who builds his house on a sand. And this is important because this talks about the deception of truth. Did you know that truth can deceive you? In other words, the sense of knowing can deceive you in believing that you've actually applied. And Jesus makes a very clear distinction. There's a difference between someone who hears and understands and those who hears, understands, but they also put into practice. Hallelujah. So meaning truth by nature can be deceptive. In other words, knowing so much could give you a false sense of belonging. It can give you a false sense that you are practicing what you know. And Jesus makes a very clear distinction that if you hear the truth and you know the truth and you don't apply the truth, you are building your house on the sand. And I want to say this. I believe it's in the, in, the, in the Gospel of Luke. The house that was built on the rock and the house that was built on the sand, all of them, they looked the same. There was no difference from the outside. Even when you go inside the house, you find that both of them look the same. The difference between the two houses was the foundation. The one house had a foundation of a rock. And the other house, its foundation was built on the sand. In other words, there were two differences, but these differences were quite fundamental and they all uh, 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 were different on the foundation. In other words, the root of one is different from the root of the other. So Jesus make it quite clear that the two houses are the same. Because two houses, they know the same scriptures. They have the same revelation. They are exposed to the same word. However, one house applies the weight and the other house does not apply the weight and they fall trap into the, what I call the deception of truth. Now listen to verse 27. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew 
and beat against that house that was built on the sand. And it fell with a great crash. Hallelujah. And Jesus says, he doesn't say if the storms and the rain comes. He doesn't say that. He says when it comes. In other words, it's a guarantee that each and every house, it doesn't matter what is built on, it shall be tested through the storms of life. And this is a differentiation factor. Each and every one of us will go through challenges, trials, and tribulation. And what will be tested is not what you know. What will be tested is what you do. Because it's what you do that demonstrates your faith in God. Hallelujah. So Jesus make it quite clear that the house that was built on the sand, uh, when the rains and the storms came, it fell because it was not anchored on the truth. It was not built on the rock. So we, so we should all know that for you to withstand or to resist the pressures of life, the storms, you need to know that you ought to anchor the foundation of your truth and what you know on the rock. And how do you do that? You do it by practicing literally what you've heard and what you've known and the revelation of scripture that the Holy Spirit will reveal to you. Hallelujah. And I want to say this in conclusion, that this parable, Jesus gave this parable because he was replying to, to the disciples, yes, but most importantly to the Pharisees. In fact, this was a, a response and a, a continuation where Jesus was telling them that in the last days many false prophets shall come um, and they will proclaim that in the name of Jesus they perform miracles, they did signs and wonders, and Jesus will look at them on the last day and he will say to them, Depart from me, you works of iniquities. I never knew you. This is, a, this is sobering. Jesus was saying many people will profess with their mouth that they believe in Jesus and they do their works of scripture. They will do wonders in the name of Jesus. And in the last day, Jesus will reject them. And he will say, um, you are the works of iniquities. Depart from me, I never knew you. This is why Jesus actually shared this parable. In other words, what Jesus was basically saying, he was saying, those who follow him, we shall know them not according to their works or the demonstrations of miracles, but according to the fruit that they bear. In other words, according to what they practice. If the word says forgive, do they forgive? If the word says pray, do they pray? If the word says um, love those who hate you, do they do the same? If they don't do it, but they profess Jesus, then Jesus tells them that you literally are building your house. In other words, you are building your entire estate on the sand because you fail to practice what you've heard. And, when, and by extension, even believers, even they are true believers and they are false believers. You know, as much as they are true prophets and false prophets, true teachers and false teachers, they are also false and true believers. If you are a true believer, you apply what you've learned. Father, we thank you for this teaching from tonight. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are always challenging us. You are always demonstrating from your word the insights and the importance of applying your word so that our faith will be anchored on a rock, which is you, Jesus. That when the storms come, they will find us anchored and being rooted in you. That we will never be tossed to and fro by the winds of doctrine and the spirit of this age. And I pray that you keep each and every one who is connected to this channel. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you. Let's meet again. Remember, this is New Dawn Ministries TV. We exist to equip, to inspire, and also to enable everyone.